Aloha, and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner, brought to you by Caldwell Banker Island Properties and Sakamoto Properties. Today, we have someone very exciting in the studio, Ethan Kaleopu from Lahaina, and we're really excited about him being here. We're going to kind of tell you the story about Ethan, because it's a great... I think it's a great Maui story. Even you've got to think that, don't you, Ethan? It definitely is. It definitely is. <laughs> okay. So, Ethan, when he was graduating from high school, his final year, ended up coming to Sakamoto Properties and worked with us. Uh, he was Roy's intern for the year. And he could do anything. He was one of those people that fell into real estate like he was meant to do it all his life. And he was like 17 years old. But he was spectacular. We all had a lot of fun doing that. It was definitely good fun, yeah. It was. It was really fun. So, but it, anyway, it was beyond good fun, really, because he really helped us. Then at the end of the year, he was supposed to be going to college and decided he wanted to sell real estate, which we felt a little guilty about <laughs> because we wanted to see him in college like any of our grandkids. So anyway, it, it was his decision, and he ended up getting a real estate license, was going to come to work theoretically for us, except we realized that we were such a small company, we wanted him to be able to really do his best. So we ended up having him talk with Caldwell Banker in Wailea, and they work all over the island, but he met with Bob Sella and all the guys. And Tommy. And Tommy Muldoon, and so he decided that he would do that. He went with them, very successful, really worked good for him, but then decided he was going to spread his wings and go to Honolulu, so he went to Honolulu for two years almost, two years. almost yep. two years and at the end of that also extremely successful but now realizes that he can come home so he comes back to Maui and at first he was kind of sticking with the same company he was with until we decided Ethan we need Ethan until I got that phone call on New Year's Eve <laughs> yeah New Year's Eve that's pretty funny but it was New Year's Eve and we all decided that we're gonna figure this out so by New Year's Day pretty much Yep. We were all over it. You call New Year's Eve and you say, come on over, let's talk. Yep. And Bob should come on back home. Yeah, and he did. So now it's, uh, it is. I mean, he's, it's like home. It's like old homework. Everybody, home week, everybody loves him, and we're having a great time. I'm super excited all about it. Yeah, we are too. So it, what are some of your goals, you know, right now? I think one of my biggest goals, I think, is, you know, still being a young entrepreneur and a young realtor here in the community is continue to, um, you know, grow my influence and um, kind of gain the respect in the community of being a young professional in the business. Mm -hmm. Well, you've definitely, everybody knows who you are, and that's half of the battle. Um, he's had a big tie to Kapalua. His dad has been with Kapalua for as far a thousand as years. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of as long as we've been yep. there. Yep. He's much younger than we are, his dad, but <laughs> however. Yep. It's so between you and Roy and my dad, I think the couple is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I think it is too. It is for everybody. Again, it, we were all feeling like old home week and kind of, it's only a few days now, yep. but we're, it's just, it, it's a great vibe for all of it us. It is, definitely is. And he brings a, a great youth to the office also. Yep. And a lot of the people, even from the early days, he met people that, he just could connect with and that's half of the key is being able to really care connect you know a good thing that you might want to talk about for a minute is how you've worked with a lot of people uh local residents getting their first like the first time home buyer residence right resident yeah no for sure when i first got my real estate license um you know of course we're all looking for our first deal and what can we do and um one of my other mentors told me is to find the niche um, and one of the things I found was I really liked working with local people. So trying to figure out what I can do to be of value to them. Um, and the biggest thing I found being there is many of these local residents, you know, they're qualified to make great money, but no one really held their hand and guided them to where they needed to be. So I kind of, you know, studied more and kind of put together something that would really help them and, you know, get them those house keys that they really deserve. So, you know, one of the things, remember early on, you did that show. Oh, the seminar. The seminar. Like I'm going to call it the show. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it t tell about how you did that, because we were really impressed with what he pulled together. I think we had already been in the business for so long, and we were happy to help any local resident. Roy was also born and raised here. So right. 
it really matters to all of us, but you get stretched out and you're doing a certain, like you say, niche in the market. So, um, but tell exactly what you did no, there because so it helped. I was just trying to figure out a way to get in front of the community and really educate them and, you know, be in front of them to guide them to home ownership. So I decided to host a first time home buyer seminar. Um, it was held by myself when I was working with Sock Motor Properties, uh, Tara Paleco, who owns Hawaii Financial Services, and um, Kalena, who is also an escrow officer. So we put ourselves together, and um, we got a good amount of people, over, I think, 30, almost 40 people. It was a really the great... There. Mm-hmm. It was a really good turnout. We educated them on the process of, you know, um, finances, credit, the steps of home ownership, and pretty much how to elevate and leverage from there to kind of move up. Because we say, you know, your first property you purchase isn't going to be your last property. Not going to be your last. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things I was impressed with was the idea that they were willing to sit down and work with people about how they could save some money. You For know, sure. so, and that is a knack because most of us, no matter how much money we're making, we're spending it. And not a good thing, but it's, it's and especially young people, right. because they have a lot of obligations, new obligations, maybe all of a sudden pregnancies and, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, you've got an apartment, you're cost trying to living. keep cost of living, yep. everything. <laughs> but he, you were working in a way with them, you know, like if you could just, I mean, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating, so you're going to have to take it for a minute, but, right. you know, like where they maybe didn't have to do this, but they right. could save this. So what we did was I created KCG, which is Kalopu Consulting Group, and um, I trained a few other agents right below me as well. And what we did was we pretty much counseled, you know, our first-time home buyers who were probably six months to a year out, and we helped them from, you know, um, fixing their credit to budgeting and pretty much being a good candidate in the in a mortgage broker's eyes, you know, to qualify for a mortgage. And that was a really good turnout, and pretty much everyone in that seminar room signed up for our program, and um, just about all of them closed on a property within the last two years. Well, wow. that's, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. And yet it is hard to keep it all going. It definitely you know? is. <laughs> and, but I lot. think <laughs> if you're really looking for a first-time home buyer, you know, you can come out to Kapalua, you know, check with Ethan first, but, you know, come out, sit down with him, and he can do the same thing for you, you know, give you some direction and uh, help you figure out how to be a home buyer. And I think at this point, the hardest thing is everybody thinks it's too expensive, you know, and you want to wait. I mean, and there, I think there will be coming up some good home, you know, workforce housing projects that will be good opportunities to get into. But I think, again, if you get ready now and work with someone, and Ethan, that is part yep. of his knack and niche and whatever, you know, it's kind of... Well, like they say, they don't make land anymore, right? They don't make <laughs> land anymore, exactly. <laughs> They're not making any more land. Hopefully yeah. a little more of it will get opened up from time For sure. to time. For sure. And I think it will. It will. Uh huh. But I think, again, you, you, there's ways to do it. Interest rates are still fabulous. It's phenomenally low. They're really low. I think it's a really great time if you're a homeowner now to either refinance and, you know, kind of figure out there. But if you are on the fence of, you know, home ownership, it's, it's a great time. There's great programs, FHA, 3.5% down. I mean, you know, there's, it's a, honestly a really great time. Mm-hmm. No, I think you're right. And, you know, what you're saying right now, if you if you have a property and you're ready to sell it, but you're thinking there's no way to get anything else, it's possible that there is. It's limited inventory. But, again, take into your you know, heart the fact that interest rates are low and you could talk with Ethan and try to figure it out ahead of time. I mean, if you had to, like sometimes somebody's thinking, oh, well, I couldn't do this because it's, Anything on the market now is so expensive, but it's possible your home has a greater value than you think. You know, Ethan also has been great about giving people a little counsel on how to get the home ready to sell it. For sure. So that it sells for a that's maximum. A, a big thing as well is home preparation, but what you might not think is valuable is definitely valuable to someone else. And I think there's many buyers out there in all the different niches, and, you know, there's something for someone out there. So your property could be someone else's new home. Yeah, and it's uh, and then... You end up, you know, upgrading, you know, getting a little bit of a larger place. Leveling or, up. Yeah, leveling <laughs> up, exactly. So, I mean, I think those things are all pretty amazing. Now, what else worked from there? Um, well, I mean, leveling up is pretty much, you know, the next thing. Many of our clients that we close as first-time home buyers, you know, two or three years ago, you know, they come back to us and they're like, what's next? What can we do now? And, you know, in a market like this where, they're, you know, properties are, 
worth great dollars, you know, um, they're coming to us to put the home on the market. Um, and many of these people, they, they bought pretty small. And I always tell them that the first property you, you purchase isn't going to be your dream home, but it's definitely going to leverage you to get to that dream home. So many of those clients now are refinancing and, you know, putting more rentals out there for other families or selling the home to level up into something larger for them. So that's kind of where we're at. I like the word level up. Elevate. I like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Level up is a good one, really. Yeah. Because, I mean, we've all done that at different times. And uh, but I think you've dealt with some really young and, you know, the other thing is to keep in mind, there's a lot of people who are not traditionally young, meaning they're not maybe still in their 20s, maybe not even in their 30s, but they still haven't been able to make that move. Right. So and it's a little sometimes you'll talk to someone in their 40s or 50s that really needs that moment and they maybe saved some money but thinks they'll never be able to own anything but the same thing. They are still classified as a first-time home buyer. Correct. And in many cases, you could have owned a variety of homes, but if you don't have a home and you haven't for X, I don't remember how many years, do you? You do requalify. To, yep, you definitely do. And especially if you're um, you know, owner-occupied, then you can mm -hmm. still qualify for certain lo loan programs to still put you know, the least amount of money down on the next property you purchase. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's, again, I think it's a great opportunity. It definitely is. And many of these people, too, you know, they, they kind of sit on the fence and they want to be homeowners, but there's not the right people in their corner to grab their hand. So I think we're definitely the right mm -hmm. people to kind of motivate you and put you in the right direction of where you need to be. And that's a great line, too. <laughs> grab your hand. Yeah, Because sure. people do lose track of th that you can do it. And I think you get a little beat up. I mean, we all get a little beat up at times by life. And there's so many things that are difficult, and you've got maybe by then children and even grandchildren, you know, and you still haven't got your first yeah. home ownership. One of but my, you can um, do it. My business partner is Courtney. You know, she taught me something that kind of stuck with me for, for a bit. And it's, um, you know, we just believe that no doesn't mean no. It just means not yet. So, you know, if you were in the process of buying at one point and maybe it just wasn't your time, it just means that when it is your time, it will be your time. That's a great one, because yeah. you're right. No doesn't necessarily mean no. It's yeah. just not yet. Just not yet. Yeah. And yeah. that's hard, though. It's hard to swallow that. You know, the other thing driving over here today, we were talking a little about what's going on in the Kapalua market, which has been our market for a long time. And uh, Everything's pending. Everything is pending, <laughs> just about. There's Right now at Kapalua, there's three homes on the market that are not already under contract. There's actually five that are pending and three that are still active listings. And there have been so many sales that it really is uh, crazy. But the, sale, the listings right now are between 8.9, or actually 9 million in effect, and 59 million, 59.5 million for an unbelievable home at Nine Bay Drive. And again, that's a once-in-a-lifetime buyer or Maybe not quite just once, but it is a spectacular property. Beautiful property. Yeah, I've never seen anything like yeah. it. It's so phenomenal. But and then again, condos at Kapalua is almost the same thing. You know, where you're almost everything on the market is pending. Uh, the first listing, I mean, everything in the Gulf Villas, the Ridge, et cetera, you know, if there's been something on the market, it's selling right away. The Ritz-Carlton has a couple of active properties. Um, have, have you looked at those at all? Yeah, Ritz? and um, Deanna J Davis just listed a new one as well. That one's a nice unit. I think that listed just a few days ago. Did it? But they, those go really quickly as well. Oh, um, 17 um, or 1602. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice location. It's on the courtyard side. It's The downside is a little bit that it's right next to, um, you know, where everything's happening right. there. But that's also the upside to me. So you can kind of get in and out of the that's building right. and yep. to the pool and the restaurants and everything. You every can get yeah. to everything. And it's really... Good location. I think it's a great location. So, um, you know, and then the golf villas, let's see, there's the lowest listing is a million one twenty five. But again, in a way, these should have been selling for a lot more a long right. time ago. So they're picking up. Uh, but again, there's just such a limited amount of activity that it's frightening. It, um, but you can give us a call. Uh, Betty Sakamoto, 808-870-7062, or Ethan at? 808-269-8033. Perfect. So give us a call if you want to look at any real estate coming up or talk to Ethan about all of these different possibilities 
because I think they're there's something for everyone. There's and something it's just a for matter everyone. Matter of time, and even if there's not something for you right now, it's getting prepared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even you know, there's we work off and on with someone that's lived here for a lot of years, but for a variety of reasons, suddenly is realizing that it's time for them to go back to somewhere. Let's say Pennsylvania. Right. I mean, it could be anywhere. It could be California, but they'll contact us and they own one property or two properties, or or they're trying to make a transition. They've got whatever they're in, and they want to sell it. They might really want to hook up with one of our affiliates on the mainland right. uh, called Well Banker Office, and we can help somebody also Coordinate do that. that. As well. Yeah, but we can sure. help you on that the opposite side in a way of the first time home buyer. Yep. But the person that really is ready to possibly move on, head back. We've seen people that have ended up having to make a move back home where their kids and grandkids are because life got a little bit difficult. But I think that isn't as hard as you think Yeah. if you get some counseling on that also. Well, I think that's what this past you know couple of years taught everyone is, um, you know, time is definitely valuable. So everyone's kind of on the move and, you know, a lot with real estate as well. People are picking up and going and trying to get closer to home and being with their family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has been a hard travel year. It, uh, I mean, in a way, this is the year you right. came home. Right, well, it is. last year. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to believe that we're 2022, but it's been a, it's really been right. pretty interesting. It has been. So uh, we are, again, certainly happy. Very blessed and thankful for having me back. Well, we are blessed and thankful <laughs> to have you back. Hey, by the way, Roy's out at the golf tournament today. This is day one. Yes. Of the, tur- the real tournament. Yep. And he went down there to see uh, a couple of the people that are teeing off early. Plantation course. Yeah, at the plantation course. So if you have time head out that way. I don't know right now. I think you get tickets online. Yep. I, I believe still on the website, there's still tickets available for purchase. Yeah. So I think that's, it's a great time. We're going to all get up there for a while or our office on office road, 700 office road, right next to the poor house and the florist, the yep. florist. And, and right next to Honolulu store. And the Honolulu store <laughs> where you can have breakfast anytime. Yep. You can bring it over and sit down outside our office to eat it. Sure can. So <laughs> there's some really good spots. Just make but sure I mean, to bring us a plate lunch too. Yeah, bring yeah. a plate lunch to <laughs> us. But we're, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, there's so many different things that we were talking about for people today. It, um, 2022, we should all talk about, you know, here's the thing. We've talked about this a lot around the holiday season. But, you know, with the new year coming and everything going on, it's a great opportunity to remember that we all need to be a community. For sure. And to remember what it takes to be a community and helping one another, doing little things and helping just someone that you see or you run by or you talk to. And I think we should all make a commitment this year. For sure. To I doing mean, things like that. It does take a village, but co-co each other is mm-hmm. the biggest thing that we can do. Yeah, it, takes a, it does take a village. I've noticed recently, and I think I was telling you this, but one day I was at the Napili Market and just picking up a few groceries, heading to the parking lot, and I noticed somebody sitting on a bench there with a bunch of groceries, a family, I mean, what, a couple. Uh-huh. And uh, I just said, are you you're waiting for the bus and he said well we're just trying to get back to Napili you know we're on vacation but we couldn't get a rental car and you know for a while there it was almost impossible so um, I said my car is nearby you know I could just drive you so I mean they were really awestruck by that (laughs) hopped in the car with me and I took them dropped them off and that was it I mean I I, they they kind of know my name I wasn't trying to give anyone a card or anything (laughs) But it was really an interesting moment of just trying to help a visitor. It it's the little things, you know, that people appreciate more but than we, we should, can sometimes see. Yeah, yeah, we should all do that. For I sure. mean, there's been a lot of difficulties traveling, a lot of problems. We're all quick to say the T word, tourist, yeah. which I think we all need to use the V word, <laughs> visitor. <laughs> but I think it is important because they, as much as it's not always perfect for everybody, that's our source. Almost everybody on the island is working in the visitor industry in one way or another. So let's remember to be kind. And uh, it works for everybody. It, um, I think as much it, as we, we share you know, our home with them, is sharing our aloha with them as well is really important. I think so. 
Yeah, I think sharing aloha is one of the most important things yeah. in the world, no matter where we go now. Yeah. It uh, makes you feel good when you smile at people. It does. I think just it makes life much easier when you lead with aloha. <laughs> yes, lead. That's another great thing. I think we've got to remember <laughs> that one. Everybody should think of that today. Lead with aloha, whatever it is you're doing. Yep. Wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, let's lead with aloha. Yep. Well, meanwhile, we do have properties that you can see pretty quickly. And you can check in with us anytime. Roy felt really bad not being here today. But if somebody's looking for Roy Sakamoto, 808-870-7060. For Ethan Kaleopu. At 808-269-8033. Okay, Betty Sakamoto, 808-669. Oops. Well, we, we do have the old but um, 870 yep. <laughs> is the better number to call. We still have our old office number. But anymore, it's just hard because everybody is using a cell phone. So we're, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just easier to stick with a cell phone. So we do have the four-minute warning, probably down to three minutes now. We don't know for sure, but <laughs> we're pretty sure. So what else would you think that you'd like to talk to our public I don't know. I think just, you know, it's a new year and whatever you're out there to get this year, go for it. Because, you know, we've kind of experienced the past couple of years and it's just a matter of time, honestly. So I think you're right. I mean, it is it should be a go for it kind of year. Let's all work hard. Let's make life better. Yep. Let's everybody have more kindness, you know, with everybody in your family, with our children. I mean, our children and grandchildren are now all grown up, even the grandchildren. <laughs> But I think, again, always remember to be kind. Have time yeah. for everybody when somebody just wants yep. a little piece of you when you're feeling like you're already maxed. Yeah. You know, just extend it. Extend the aloha. Lead with Lead aloha. Lead with aloha. <laughs> Tomorrow is never promised. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, oh, what a horrible thought. But you're right. Tomorrow is. is never promised. It definitely is. Yeah, it's really hard. Well, I'm hoping that's going to be a big year for all of us at Caldwell Banker Kapalua. Our new office is spectacular. If you're around uh, next door at the Poor House, they're doing coffee in the morning, oh, yeah. and they're doing some really great um, crepes. It is. Yeah. It's really good stuff. They are really good. The and, uh, and then you can just sit out there in front of our office. We have some extra tables, so you can hang out there or over at the Honolulu store, but come by there. It's a great moment to get together and hang out and come in, say hello to us. Usually, well... I say usually we're in the office. <laughs> One of us is almost always Someone at the is office. always there. <laughs> or there's somebody at the front desk to hang out and talk to. So we're now down just a few minutes left. So I think we'll, uh, we, we got to always acknowledge Danny Couch, who sings I Love Hawaii as we yes. come in and out of the show. And I love Danny Couch. And he has some fabulous, if you check him out online, he has some of the best Christmas music and fabulous Hawaiian music. Definitely yeah, gives you yeah. the aloha spirit. He does, yeah. <laughs> he definitely leads with yeah, aloha. he does. <laughs> so yeah, does his music. Yeah, there's so many things. It's so m of Willie K. I but, miss yeah. Willie K. Yeah. And uh, he passed away. It's o over a year now, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yep. It seems in a way like yesterday, or he's still here somewhere. Lahaina Luna High School yes. is another quick something. Lahaina Luna High School has a lot of people up at the tournament working to get things done. And part of that all is because the tournament makes fabulous contributions, like yeah. to Holly Makua, to Lahaina Luna High School, and to a variety of other local charities that all put in some time to be able to help with the tournament. So now we've got Danny Couch back. <laughs> I hope we've said something that's been interesting for you. And uh, call us. Just find us. We we're still have uh, SakamotoProperties.com. So just come and find us. We're there for you. What's your website? Uh, I KaleopuGroup.com. Okay. Yep. Aloha. Aloha. We will see you in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs>